how much of a difference maker is Manny Machado in your estimation? You've got a very good team that added one of the best players that is going to get traded, if not the best player that's going to get traded this, this trading deadline. Uh, Manny Machado, tremendous hitter, tremendous defender, can play two positions. I saw something the other day against, uh, I think, Philly, tripled. And typically when a, when a base runner in this era is running – Towards second base, he'll glance over his shoulder mm -hmm. to see where the right fielder's doing. He's got a third base coach down there, but they kind of glance, lose a step. No, he understood, he understands how to play. Then he's on third base, there's a short, short fly ball to center field. Most people are not going to try it and score on a sacrifice fly on this play. He makes a dash, about 10 feet, 10, 15 feet, full speed, watching the outfielder. Herrera juggles the ball just a second in the glove. Just that split second, he's off and running. He knows how to run the bases. He knows how to hit. He knows how to field. He, to me, he is one of the most complete players in the game today and one of the best players of this era and another young free agent. Yeah. Well, is he going to be a free agent, do you think? Or do you think the Dodgers, what, what's, their, what's their plan right now? Well, I think he will be a free agent. That doesn't preclude the Dodgers from signing him. Of I course. think when you wait this long, you're going to see what the market will bear. And he's, got, he's done nothing wrong except to continue to increase his market. Dodgers get to October, which very likely they're going to. Suddenly that stage changes for him too. And the value of a player who is a great player from April till October and then a great player in the month of October, that's off the chart. So let's, let's, then let's go ahead and, and, and get the ultimate Valhalla scenario here for Dodger fans. He helps lead the Dodgers to win it all first time since 1988. How do they not re-sign him, right? How do they not and, – and if uh, and if that's a rhetorical question. How do they work the roster to keep him? Who moves where? Well, that's that's the big question because you got Justin Turner at third yep. and you've got Seager Corey coming Seager back. coming back at short. And those are the two spots Manny Machado plays. One of those two players is going to have to have a drastic switch – in order, to, in order to have Manny Machado play the left side of the infield. So I'm not sure how that really works. Justin Turner, when I signed him, was more of a utility infielder, could play a lot of different places. Was a little bit of a younger player then. Playing second base is not like playing third base. So you've got a different dynamic there. Do you move somebody to first base at some point in time and move Bellinger to the outfield? But then they've got Max Muncy, who's really played well. There's a lot of moving parts. Now these are these are first rate, first class problems. Oh I yeah, understand. these are the problems you hope to have, rather than looking around and going, "Who's going to play?" But what what's your best guess? Um, I think my best guess is they they may wait another year and see if somebody else comes free. So let Machado walk. Well, see how it goes. I mean, we don't. The beauty of sports is every day it's like a kaleidoscope. It changes the picture just a little bit. We're not sure exactly what's going to happen today, let alone sure. three months from today. But I, I do think it's going to be an interesting dynamic. And I think he is in such a good place for him, and the Dodgers are in a, such a good place with him. Does that make them the team to beat in the, in the NL? I don't have any doubt. I don't, I don't see. I watch a lot of games. The way they hit, pitching to me has been mediocre. It's been below average in the league for a while. They are so patient. They make a pitcher throw a strike. They go 1-0, and 2-0, and put themselves in a hitter's count, and then they do damage, and they, they run through pitching staffs. On the flip side, their pitchers exploit hitters' weaknesses as good as anybody. They've got the best combination going. I don't know that there's a National League team that can pitch to this lineup. I'm not. There may be a National League team that can score off the Dodgers' staff, mm -hmm. but I don't know that there's a, a, a rotation and a bullpen out there that can dominate the Dodgers' hitters. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern, on Audience.